and welcome, welcome to story time with me, Ms. Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today's story is called Over the River and It's a Turkey's Tale. <laughs> Let's get into it because it sounds funny. You've never heard of such a thing, have you? So here it goes. Over the river and through the woods. And there you see some turkey lookies getting ready to travel. A mama and her dad, a mama and a papa, and a baby one. To grandmother's house we go. Oh, they're going to grandma's house, I guess, for dinner. And look, look, I don't to see that they see the little boy up there and the big dog. <coughs> the horse knows the way to carry the sleigh. So there's the horse. And the baby is talking to him. Can you take us to Grandma's house? And there's the sleigh. I guess they're hoping to get a ride with him. Uh oh, there goes the horse. <laughs> he forgot the turkeys. He goes through white and drifted snow, over the river and through the woods. Oh oh, dog doesn't look happy because the young boy is showing. If we have this turkey, it can make it in to a turkey dinner. An animal with three bones that he could give to him. Uh oh, oh, wants him to get them. Oh, how the wind does blow. Oh, each of them spotted one another. Oh, let's see what's gonna happen. It stings the toes and bites the nose. <laughs> I think the dog is looking to go and bite those turkeys. As over the ground we go. Guess hopefully they're going to go into that barn over there. We shall see. Over the river and through the woods. Oh, <gasps> the scarecrow lost all his clothes and looks so embarrassed. Oh. But the turkeys are smart. They're dressing up in that scarecrow's clothes to pretend they're the scarecrow. To have a first rate play. Look at the cow and the pig looking and say, what the heck is happening? So the turkeys did become the, the scarecrow. Oh, hear the bell ring, 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 ring. There's the grandma and grandpa turkey. And there on the mailbox, if you look closely, it says the gobblers. So that's their last name, the gobblers. A ring a ting 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 ting. There goes the bell. The turkeys go in and they get out of the scarecrow clothes. Hurrah for Thanksgiving Day. So mama and papa bear uh turkey and the baby get to the grandma's house, but so does the dog almost. <coughs> over the river and through the woods. So all the turkeys are together and the dog is there, but look what's happening here. Yes, the horse fell and is on the sleigh now and sliding down towards them. I think there's going to be a, can you see? A crash, I think so. Woohoo! look at him go. And it says, trot fast, my dapple gray. <laughs> Bring over the ground like a hunting hound. Oh, oh, the sleigh crashes right into them. And look at the pumpkin pie go. Oh, there goes Grandma Turkey getting mad at the dog. <laughs> Why are you getting mad at my family? You leave my family alone. <laughs> For this is Thanksgiving Day and they all get together except who is not there. Can you see? Who is not sitting at the table? Did you guess the young boy? You're right, he's outside looking for the dog. But the dog is smart because he's getting fed by the turkeys. Something better. And there they are after dinner all together, happy as can be. Oh, I so hope you enjoyed that story today. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila, go make yourself some new friends. Take care. Bye.